Hold on to your hats, folks. Earth might be getting a second moon. Okay, it's not exactly a brand new shiny moon like the one we're used to, but there's a chance we might get a temporary visitor, a cosmic buddy hanging out in our celestial neighborhood. So what's the deal with this almost but not quite moon? You might be wondering why we even care about these space rocks that aren't quite moons, but aren't just regular asteroids either. Astronomers call these space objects quasi-moons. They are fascinating because they share a unique relationship with our planet. They're basically asteroids on a cosmic road trip, circling the sun like good little space rocks. Imagine them as cosmic hitchhikers, traveling through the vastness of space. But sometimes, their journey brings them close to Earth, and they get caught in our moon's gravitational embrace. This interaction is a delicate dance of celestial mechanics. Think of it like this. Earth and the moon are dancing a cosmic waltz, swirling around each other in a delicate gravitational balance. Their movements are synchronized in a beautiful, timeless rhythm. Occasionally, an asteroid stumbles onto the dance floor, drawn in by the music of gravity. These space rocks are like unexpected guests at a grand ball. It doesn't quite join the waltz, but instead it gets caught in a slow, looping pattern around both Earth and the moon, a cosmic conga line of sorts. These quasi-moons can stay in this pattern for years, sometimes even decades before they eventually drift away, continuing their journey through the cosmos. Their presence reminds us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our solar system. Now, our moon isn't just any old dance partner, it's got moves. It's a celestial performer with a rhythm all its own, captivating us with its graceful ballet in the night sky. Its orbit around Earth isn't a perfect circle, but a slightly elongated oval called an ellipse. This unique path means the Moon is sometimes closer to us and sometimes farther away, creating a dynamic and ever-changing relationship. This means the Moon's distance from Earth constantly changes as it goes through its monthly cycle. At its closest point, called perigee, the Moon appears larger and brighter in our sky. At its farthest point, called apogee, it seems smaller and dimmer. This elliptical orbit, along with the gravitational tug-of-war between Earth and the Sun, creates a slightly chaotic environment around our planet. The gravitational forces at play are like an intricate dance, with each celestial body influencing the others in a delicate balance. It's like a cosmic game of capture the flag, with asteroids as the flags and the Moon's gravity as the opposing team. The Moon's gravitational pull can even capture these wandering space rocks, adding them to its collection of cosmic companions. Now here's where it gets really cool. We're about to dive into the fascinating world of asteroids and their unpredictable journeys through our solar system. When an asteroid gets too close to this gravitational dance floor, it can get snagged by the moon's gravity. Imagine it like a cosmic game of catch where the moon is the catcher. But here's the catch, it doesn't crash into the moon. Instead of a catastrophic collision, something even more intriguing happens Instead, it starts orbiting both Earth and the Moon in a crazy, looping pattern. This creates a temporary yet mesmerizing dance in the sky. These captured asteroids, our temporary quasi-moons, don't stick around forever. They are like cosmic visitors here for a short stay. Their orbits are usually unstable, like a spinning top that's about to topple over. This instability means they can't maintain their position for long. Eventually, after a few months, or even years, they're flung back out into the vastness of space continuing their cosmic journey around the Sun. These asteroids then resume their solitary travels, perhaps to be captured again by another celestial body, or to wander the solar system indefinitely. The story of these asteroids is a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe. Each one has a unique path, influenced by the gravitational forces of the celestial bodies they encounter. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember that there are countless asteroids out there, each with its own story, caught in the act of their cosmic dance. Speaking of our moon, did you know it's the biggest and brightest object in our night sky? It's also the only celestial body besides Earth that humans have ever set foot on. Here's another fun fact. The Moon is slowly moving away from Earth at a rate of about one and a half inches per year. That's about the same rate your fingernails grow. So while a permanent second Moon is highly unlikely, keep your eyes peeled on the night sky. We might just spot a tiny faint point of light tagging along with our familiar lunar companion, a temporary visitor from the vastness of space, caught in the cosmic dance between Earth and the Moon.